from the inside out. Apparently, it's not easy being Steve Harvey or to work for him. Everybody is talking about his letter to his Chicago staff today. Well, you know, Steve is no stranger to criticism or controversy. Miss Universe, anyone? Tonight's number one tracking story, Harvey in hot water. What I've learned about haters are haters are necessary. They validate you. Now, this is a great staff right here. I don't really worry about when people come and try to bring me down and attack me. You know, if you get to know me, I'm a pretty cool dude, you know. Most people who know me crazy about me. Three, Here we go. two, and two, Steve. In what some speculate to be an email leaked by a scorned staff member, a month's-old memo sent to a Chicago staff has surfaced. Among Harvey's season five rules, quote, do not come to my dressing room unless invited. If you open my door, expect to be removed. Do not attempt to walk with me. Do not approach me unless I ask to speak with you directly. I hate being ambushed. If you're reading this, yes, I mean you. This email was actually sent at the start of season five, which was almost a full year ago. Steve Harvey's old show was based in Chicago, and now he's moving it to Los Angeles. There's a lot of people that work on that show who are now out of a job, so the timing is definitely interesting. Today, the last episode of season five was taped, and our TV insider Variety's Elizabeth Wagmeister explains many members of the Chicago team were not invited to work on the rebranded show in LA. We're hearing that a large portion of the staff will be new. That's why we think so many of his staff members are upset because they were not invited back. The format will be pretty similar, but there will be more celebrity guests on his show. The insider has confirmed the memo is real, with a source close to production adding, Steve is not a rude person. Quote, no one is afraid to walk around the office or anything like that. We're not on all the time. These are real people who are tired. Okay, so let's talk about it. You got this show, you got the talk show, you got another game show, mm -hmm. uh, you're a stand-up comedian, but you're on a roll right now. Well, here's the deal. If it don't work, I got four more. <laughs> it's not the first time Steve has come under public scrutiny. In 2015, he tearfully apologized after crowning the wrong Miss Universe. My family got death threats. He also came under fire and apologized in January for a controversial joke many accused of being racially insensitive. You like Asian men? I don't even like Chinese food, boy. <laughs> In an exclusive interview with Entertainment Tonight, Harvey said he did write the email himself and stands by the intent of wanting more privacy, but, quote, I probably should have handled it a little bit differently. 